welcome to Sugarless in the Kitchen with C'est la Vie Wellness. This morning we're making a beef stew. Stews are great at this time of year, the fall, the winter, because it's a comfort food and you can put all kinds of goodness in it. Let it put it in the crock pot and let it simmer all day and then you come home to some a beautiful nourishing meal that is uh, smells so good in the house anyway. So uh, some of the ingredients that I will put in my stew, uh, I, will, I do have beef, two pounds of uh, grass-fed beef that I take from um, a Mennonite farmer that we've discovered in Wellesley. Uh, and uh, we want to make sure that the source of meat we're using is uh, good quality meat. There's going to be some onions in this, some mushrooms, carrots, I'm going to be adding some peas at the end, uh, some beef bouillon, some fresh herbs for a lot of uh, nice flavor, deep flavor. Some, uh, some of the stews will have wine. Since we're not having wine during the sugarless in the kitchen, we're going to replace the wine with some apple cider vinegar. And I will add some pearl barley. I do like the texture and the grainy feel of the pearl barley. However, if you are gluten um, sensitive, do not add the pearl barley because it is a gluten and it's grain. So you can replace it with quinoa or millet um, or even just rice. A brown rice would be a good alternative. Okay, so the first step is we have to brown the meat uh, and the onions and garlic. Okay, so I took out my cast iron pan. I always cook with my cast iron pan because you do get a little bit of iron in your food when you use a cast iron pan. Um, so I'm heating up some oil. You can use avocado oil, you can use coconut oil, any oil that uh, is good at high heat. Once the oil is heated, I will brown my meat. So you're not cooking the meat completely, you're just browning it. And the idea is just to brown all sides and then put it aside and uh, brown the other batch. So the meat is starting to brown. I cook it on high heat because basically you just want to kind of sear that meat so that the flavors stay in. And now I'm going to be cooking my onions and garlic that I've chopped finely. And all you want is to soften it a little bit before you put it in the crock pot. So I did add a little bit of beef bouillon here because it was starting to stick. So the onions and garlic are looking very good, nice and soft. So I'm going to turn off the heat and now we're just going to add everything to the crock pot. And now the easy part, just add all the ingredients in your crock pot. Starting with your browned meat, then I add my onions and garlic. Now I'm adding carrots. This is about two carrots. And some mushrooms. I've got about uh, three to four cups here of mushrooms. And you'll need some liquids, obviously. But in a crock pot, the beauty is you always need a little less liquid because everything stays inside when you're cooking. I love to add some fresh herbs. So I got some fresh thyme from the garden as well as some fresh oregano and rosemary. That will add some nice flavor elements. And I will also add one or two bay leaves. Apple cider vinegar in there. Always take raw unpasteurized cider vinegar so you get the fermented benefits of those good bacteria. Then I've got some uh, tomato paste. I'll just scoop that out. Then I have my pearl barley, which will cook slowly. And finally, I add some homemade bone broth. Since I didn't have any, well, it's going to be some organic beef broth. Let's make sure. So you want enough water in this recipe because your pearl barley will be cooking and taking up some of that water. And I finished with some Himalayan pink salt. Don't be afraid to put enough salt. It does add nice flavor. It won't affect your blood pressure. Blood pressure is affected by the sodium found in so many 
processed foods and if you're always eating out at restaurants and fast foods that's where you're getting a lot of your sodium okay this already looks amazing so now I'm going to turn it on and revisit this tonight. Okay, so our stew has simmered all day. It looks amazing. So now, 15 minutes before it, I'm ready to eat, I'm going to just add a cup of green peas. It adds some nice color, but also peas add some protein and some fiber to the stew. So now I'm going to let it uh, simmer for another 15 minutes. It looks good, ready to eat. Bon appétit